Recently, I had a major invasion of privacy. And it's why I want to talk about why privacy is very important. Nothing crazy happened, by the way. It's not a big deal. Um, I, it just came as a shock. So, in general, right, as people, we think our lives are pretty private, right? If you're not in any, like, general public eye person, like if you're not a member of, of let's say, public office or Congress, or if you're not a celebrity or someone who wants to be a celebrity, right, you in general pretty much enjoy your privacy. Um, you, you know, go about your life. No one really bothers you. You have secrets, as everyone does and honestly should have, because not everything needs to be shared, right? Not everything needs to be shared. And I find that increasingly hard to do, especially in the world of social media and friends always posting about things and doing things like, you know, the amount of times I've seen my friends post about going to the same coffee shop they've been going to for the past 10 years, right? You know, what? why do I care? Like, why do I need to know where you're going all the time? But in general, yes, your life is private. You post on social media, though, and you make it more public, and you post more, and you make it more public. And then all of a sudden, you start getting noticed by someone, right? You might have a public Instagram account, and someone, like, DMs you and starts harassing you and whatever because you decided to put yourself out there. I'm sure it's very. this is very true with women. I'm sure very many creepy men and people have DMed many women I know. But that being said, it's also our own faults, right? If I post myself on a public social media account, I'm therefore inviting people to make comments on it because that's what it was built for. I'm inviting people to like it because that's what it was built for. I am inviting people into my life. That's basically what I'm doing. And that's how my privacy was invaded. And I am in the public eye. You know, I have YouTube channels that I run. Besides this one, which is meant to be really anonymous, but I'm sure is not going to be, stay like that for long. And then I have my social media accounts, of course. And I also work for a pretty high-profile client, right, on YouTube, which I've mentioned before. And there goes my pickaxe. Okay. Okay. All right, buddy. Let's. Can we not have this right now? So all things considered, yes, I'm in the public eye, and my privacy was you know, invaded, right? Or I guess leaked. And I was so angry. I was angry at the fact that someone had gone and, you know, found out something about me and tried to use it against me. And then I realized I can't really be angry at this person. I can't be angry at this person because I'm capable of doing the same thing. You know, this isn't about morality. This is about the ability to do something. I gave this person the ability to hurt me. Right, or I gave this person the ability to do something malicious or to do something that they weren't supposed to do. It's one of those cases if you don't want to get robbed, don't walk around a bad neighborhood flashing your $100 bills to everybody. And that's exactly what I did. I went to a dangerous neighborhood, that being social media. I left my $100 bills on the table, aka posted it, and then I proceeded to leave it there for a long time, forgetting about it. And then I got robbed, right? And by I got robbed, I mean somebody found out something of mine that I didn't want necessarily known to the public and used it in a way that they shouldn't have. But it's my fault. I have to take responsibility for that. And now I'm taking precautions for such things, right? I learned from my mistake. I now no longer post certain things on social media. I have now privated a lot of things on my social media accounts because I think it is the right thing to do for me to live the lifestyle on social media that I am ch I want, right? And I urge you to do the same because I know a lot of people, right? I know a lot of people that post way too much about their lives. And as much as, you know, the internet is way more matured now in the sense, the stranger danger aspect of the internet isn't as bad as it used to be. There's a lot less creepy type people. Oh God, okay, let's not die again because I really don't need to do that right now. Um, oh no, you're kidding. You're kidding me. You're kidding me. You're kidding me. Get away. Get away. Get oh, I'm dead. I'm so boned. 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 I am passing away right now. Oh my God. They threw another one. No, 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 no. Oh, you're kidding me. Oh, okay. Uh, this did not need to happen today, dude. I don't need to die. Why is it snowing in my house? What the fuck, dude? Oh, okay. All right, let's go find everything. Let's go grab all my stuff. So as I was saying, right, there's a smaller percentage of creepy people on the internet. 
However, the creepy people that are there have leveled up because everyone now knows how to use the internet. Everyone who understands it can pretty much do a lot of damage. Okay, there's a spider right there. The witch is still here? I don't see them. Okay, we got lucky. I'm being chased by half the server. Look at this shit. Anyway, as I was saying before half of the Minecraft server tried to come out and kill me, right? Do you really want to be private? Because in order to do that, you have to be like off the grid. It's true. You have to be off the grid. You can't be... You can't expect privacy and be posting on social media. I don't care if you have a public or private account on whatever it is. I don't care if it's Snapchat. The moment you put something on the internet, it stays there forever. It does not matter. It's one of the rules of the internet. If it is posted, it will stay there. And there's nothing you can do about that. It's one of those mistakes that you make that you realistically can't avoid. Oh, this is actually helpful. So I urge you, I urge you to stop doing it. I urge you to limit what you post on social media. For those of us who do enjoy some level of privacy, for those of us who don't want to be fully in the public eye, don't post. I promise you, don't post. You don't miss anything, by the way. You don't miss anything by leaving the social media to die. Unless you're doing it monetarily, there's no really reason for it. Yes, the attention is fun. Everyone likes the attention. Everyone craves attention. That's what we do as humans. We love attention because that's part of our DNA. Because when we were in the primal stages, socially, we had to be around each other and we had to like each other because if we were the one, the odd one out left out of the pack, we would be the ones to die. We would be the first ones to die. You know what? I kind of like the snowy landscape. I really wish it wasn't in my house, but I guess I have to continue building it. But I think that's all I had to say for today. Um, just be mindful, right? Be mindful of what you put out there. Be careful on how much you share with the world. And be careful. So good night and good luck.